On today's episode of Keeping It Real, Cam tells us about Joe the Fisherman, who he met at the bar in Edenton, North Carolina. It was a conversation Cam won't soon forget. Last night I had dinner at the bar in a small restaurant in downtown Edenton, North Carolina. A moment later, the bar stool next to me was taken by Joe. Joe was outfitted head to toe in camouflage, including his camo boots. Even the layers inside his camo jacket were camouflage, and he wore a camo baseball cap with a gold fish hook bent around the brim. The staff greeted him by name. He's both a local and a regular, and he had the thick hands of a man that knew hard work. I instantly liked him. For some reason, he looked like a good storyteller with good stories to tell. Well, Joe, I said as an introduction, you must come here often, which began a conversation that I won't soon forget. Joe was getting a meal before heading out to do some night fishing. Joe is from Edenton, and fishing is in his blood. His family is in the seafood business. Due to Edenton's location on the Albemarle Sound, yet well west of the Atlantic, Joe can fish both saltwater and freshwater whenever he wants nearly any time of the year. He couldn't remember the number of fishing tournaments he's entered, but he's won more than his fair share, he told me. He caught nearly a 12-pound bass in one of the local rivers and won that tournament running away. Look into a bass's eyes when you catch him, he said. If he's looking up, fish top water. If he's looking down, fish worms. And he held my gaze for a moment longer, like he had just shared a secret he's never shared before. What will you do with the fish you catch tonight, I asked Joe. I clean them and give them to old people, he said. I have a lot of folks that want the fillets. I just like catching them and giving them away. I asked Joe what makes him want to fish throughout the night nearly each and every night. He prefers night fishing because people leave him alone. I had a heart attack a while back, he said. They shocked me back to life, and when I finally got my wits about me again, The Lord told me to go fishing and give what I catch to old people. I'm just doing what I was told to do. He said it as a matter of fact, like he was telling me what he had for breakfast. Now I keep some of them for myself, he said. I take only what I can eat that day. No reason to stockpile fish fillets if there are old people that want them. Joe's steak arrived. It was an enormous prime rib. Then his onion rings. Have an onion ring, he said, pointing it with his fork. When my wife is out of town, I eat here. No way she'd let me eat this if I were home, considering my heart attack. I told Joe that when it comes to one other person in history who took fish and gave them to bunches of people, Joe's in pretty good, rare, and holy company. And Joe looked at me, and his eyes were blazing. I'm doing what he told me to do, Joe said. And I believe him. I'm Cam Marston. And I'm just trying to keep it real. To hear more of Cam Marston's commentaries, search for Keeping It Real on your favorite podcast app or find them on Facebook.